Hi guys, welcome to Life of Try. So in this series of videos, we've been looking at a journey coming back into training after a lengthy period. And I've started just with running and we've decided to do Couch to 5K. And we've called it Ironman to Couch to 5K because a few years ago I did Ironman, but injury, lifestyle choices, aka kids, um, and COVID has, has really hampered my training over the last 18 months or so. So we've been doing the Couch to 5K program and we've been trying to follow it as best as we can, making some slight tweaks along the way, but we are almost there. This is the end of week eight. Um, so we have done three times 28 minutes worth of running. I was at one point going to change one of those sessions to a more interval type session, but it didn't happen. Time was against me and one particular day, I just needed a run um, and I had a window of half an hour and that's what I did. Um, what I would say is this week's gone okay. Um, I've just finished the third run of the week. Again, 28 minutes. Um, I tried to pick the pace up on this one. And you will know from the other series of videos, I've, I haven't concentrated on pace at all. I've only gone to run comfortably for the allotted time period. Um, but there, this one, I just tried to do a little bit faster. Try to really work a little bit harder than, than I have. Um, and I can feel it now, you know, I'm, you've finished the run and I'm, I'm a little bit tired. So what is important now is the recovery. So we hydrate, we fill, um, and we just make sure there's enough rest period between now um, and the next session. And it's Friday today and, you know, I'm up, hopefully I'll upload this video later, but the next session probably won't be until Monday. But the big thing that I've got this weekend is I've got a, a night out with some friends and there will be some beers and I haven't done this in a while but this will probably have some bearing on my training next week because I'm not getting any younger and it takes me quite a bit longer to recover from things so um, I'll be out on Saturday so there'll be no training then I'll be probably recovering on Sunday um, so again no training and then back on it Monday but those sort of um, choices that you make in how your weekly um, routine is made up is important when you're thinking about your training and thinking about when you're scheduling your running um, because it's all too easy to sack off a training session and on the channel we often say have your regular routines stick to them because if you know at Monday six o'clock in the evening that's my run day and I have to do that. You know, you will. You hopefully you will stick to it. Other than, well, I need to run early on in the week. Uh, maybe I'll run Monday. Maybe I'll run Tuesday. Maybe I'll run in the morning. Maybe I'll run in the afternoon. That it's all too easy then to sort of just say, ah, bag it. I won't do it. So, routine is important, and just make sure that you know, and you can plan each week as it comes. You don't have to be um, regimental. You know, every Tuesday I run, every, every Wednesday I swim. It doesn't have to be like that, but you at least need to have some fo form of structure. And um, we've talked about structure in some of the earlier videos, so I'm not going to go on too much about it now. But what is important that is that we have that routine and that structure, so you know at that point um, I'm going to be doing X, Y, Z. But the reason we also say plan your week is to allow for things like what I'm doing on this weekend, and that's, you know, meeting some friends and not having an opportunity to train. And that's okay. You know, rest is important. Re recovery is important. But also your lifestyle outside of training and the sport is also important. There are people in this, um, in this sport, triathlon, that triathlon is their life. And that's, well, that's their choice. And that's fair enough. But for a lot of people, you know, there's work commitments, there's family commitments, and you'll have interests outside of triathlon. Um, it's weighing up what's important to you at that given time and then looking at wh where, where's the compensation, what can you do to mitigate maybe either delaying a certain session or missing it altogether. What I would say is never play catch up and if you can't do a specific session, don't try and cram everything in on, into one day and things, only because from a recovery point of view that messes everything up. So have a look at your week. Have a look at when you can fit things in. Be sensible about it. Um, there are opportunities to double up on sort of days. So you can do a run bike on a day or a bike run, you know, brick session. Um, you could, in theory, do a swim bike. You could do a swim run. Um, but just again, think about what that particular session is. You know, is it is it quite a hard session? What are you hoping to get out of it? 
can you realistically um, push sessions together if that's possible? Um, and what's the recovery time look like? But chances are, if you're watching this video, you're looking at just the running element in the couch to 5k. Um, so I like to space out at least 48 hours between each run because um, running is the biggest impact on the body. But so I, I run Monday, Wednesdays and Fridays. And if the, one of those days can, uh, slips, it can push into the weekend. But it's, you know, it's like I said, it's important to have that structure. It's important to have that regular routine. But there has to be some flexibility. Anyway, guys, that's it for this video. We go into the final week. We've talked about in, in the last video what we do beyond the final week. And we'll probably touch on it um, in the next video. But having a thought on, right, okay, I'm about to hit my goal. Where do I go from there? Um, and that's important because chances are you may have a little bit of a come down after it in the sense you, you have this, oh my God, I've achieved my goal and I've done what I wanted to do. And then you might just have that come down, which, which is a bit, you know, what do I do next? So you're a little bit lost for a moment. But what you can start to think about is that very aspect. And where do you go from here? And you don't have to wait until you achieve that point. It might be the case that you decide to just stay at that plateau and, okay, I'm up to 5K. That's all I want to do. That's fine. But what you may want to do is sign up for a specific race. And there's a goal to, to keep on. Or you may want to decide to go a little bit faster. Or you may want to decide to go a little bit further. All of these are things just to consider. Anyway, guys, there's a video. On to the final week. We'll, well, we'll see you next week. ta -ra.